Right now I'm with Ken Laleem. He is a lifelong Connecticut resident, more than 35 years of experience in health in the healthcare arena. He is also the CEO of the Community Health Center Association of Connecticut. We're glad you're with us this morning. Thanks so Great much. So much going on. First, Ken, if you could just update us on what is happening at the state level in response to the coronavirus. Well, obviously, as people know, the, the governor has... Uh, uh, declared a state of emergency, which that basically means that the opportunity for additional resources becomes available. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will that thing. will help us. That right. will help us if as we need that. Uh, obviously, more people are being infected. We hear it on a daily basis. That that's going to continue. So the the diligence that we all need to have on a state level is really not to panic, but we have to prepare and we need to be doing some smart things. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's some great resources out there for people. The community health centers in the state um, actually manage greater than 10 percent of the population in the state. Uh, we have uh, hundreds of sites around the around the state of Connecticut. So people should have, you know, the, the community health center system actually manages a lot of that. And the patients that come there are relying on that service. And we want to make sure that those clinicians that are there continue to be there for them. And so that gets into how do we manage those patients that are sick versus feel like they're sick or how do they access the system and all those kind of questions. So lots of good resources on the Department of Health website mm -hmm. on the Community Health Center Association website uh, and those are all fed from CDC and a few other resources. But then let's get practical. I think right, there's some right. practical aspects. Question, what does somebody do? We've been talking about the symptoms. What does somebody do if they're starting to have the fever? They're, sh they're, they're noticing their shortness of breath. They think, oh no, I what if I have it? What should be the first thing that they do? So we have been educating. They our... probably want to rush to the, <laughs> you know, to urgent care or something like that. That's, uh, that's the natural tendency, right? Um, but what we're trying to educate the patients, so many of the community health centers have sent out notices to their patients to say call first. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to work with the state of Connecticut to enable telehealth, so telephonic health care. Right. So a way that that telephone message isn't just a message, it's actually treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and so those pa patients should make that phone call first so they would know what is next for them. Is, a lot is it, can be done over the a phone. A lot can be done over the phone. Is it, is it come in because we want to, but then it's at least a controlled environment. Right. We, we're very concerned about having the clinicians of the state uh, infected because if well, you, so you know, you're on you the front affect lines. a nurse and, and then all of a sudden right. that nurse can't treat, they've got to be quarantined and so then you can't treat the patients that are needing to be there. So we want the patients to come in that need to be there. So telehealth, we're going to work with the state, we're going to hopefully get that done uh, so that that can be an advantage to all the patients in the state of Connecticut. Right, don't rush out to see your doctor, don't rush out to urgent care, get on the phone, speak to them first and of course keep up with that hand washing, the hand sanitizer. Oh, those are the basics, wash your hands. And we didn't shake hands today. Today, Ken. We didn't. We did the we My did the three elbow. words are prepare, don't panic. All right. Ken, thanks so much. We thanks really so much for having me here. out. All right, good stuff.